Now, Twaino, as you walk down the aisle, it's important that you don't spill any of the blood from the chalice of Asmodeus. And Desdemona, take it easy on the bucket of babies. You'll get a tummy ache. Then, when we get to the altar, you'll hand me the chalice and then take up the scepter of Mammon and pierce the high priestess through the heart. Got it? I think so. There's just so much to take in. I mean, I'm about to be a husband who has intercourse. I wouldn't worry too much about after the wedding. You might not be around that long. Oh, yeah, because we'll be going on our honeymoon, right? Yes, that. And for the love of Balfagor, stop picking at your mating bone. It's going to get infected. Yes, sir. Sorry, sir. You know, I always dreaded welcoming you into my family, but now that the apocalypse is almost upon us, I have to say I'm dreading it less. That's the nicest thing you've ever said to me. Not so fast, you skank! Yeah! The wedding police are here! Daddy, they're ruining my big day! Okay, Pumpkin, I'll take care of it. Pumpkin? You call her Pumpkin, too? You're just jealous because he likes me better. Whatever. I can see your muffin top right through that dress. Said the size eight to the zero. Okay, everyone, let's just calm down. What's it cost to rent a hall like this, anyway? Looks uh, pricey. Hey, anyone try the cake? It's to die for. <laughs> You're ruining my special day! <laughs> Testimona, are you okay, sweetie? Look at the size of her ass! I knew she was a secret fatty. Testimona, hi, Mark Lilly here. <laughs> yeah, I'm dating your half sister. Yeah, look, I know we never met, but if you could just shrink back down to normal size, I think I could help you work out your sibling rivalry issues. Whoa! Issue avoidance, it's classic. Uh, we should probably, you know, kill her before she destroys the universe. Right. Finally, some blam action! Let's do this thing, sugar tits. Whoa! Nice! Go free! 
right into my gullet! Yeah! So alive! <laughs> Everyone okay? I think so. Although I'm never gonna get these intestine stains out. Well, I guess we did it. It's all over. It's just a shame I didn't get to kill more stuff. Well, I hope you're happy, Callie. I am, Daddy. Then so am I, kitten. Besides, there'll be other apocalypses. Uh, there will? Did somebody say something? That was me. Uh, anyway, okay. we better get out of here. I'm paying for the haul by the hour, and it ain't cheap. <laughs> <laughs> Leonard went back to working at the DOI, drinking on the job and passing out with renewed vigor. Grimes continued achieving catharsis through merciless attacks on minor offenders. Good times. Twain attempted to return his tux, but to no avail. Callie and I managed to do it in every room of the DOI. It's an HR record. Aldermac struck up a romance with twin strippers and ate his age, somehow managing to delude himself into thinking that they were kinda into him. It was funny for a while. Then it just got sad. And Desdemona died as she lived, completely and utterly friendless. Seriously, you guys, what a fucking bitch. Capitalism. Parents. 
Vegas. Little fella. I love you, small wriggling thing. What a cutie patootie. Here I come! Danger zone. Let's get wasted. you today it looks like a thorax nice they've got a great pool there hell yeah you can't stop destiny titty bar here I come what did I do right now. Kill money! I did it for the music, man! 
I never saw Baron! I don't wanna die for oh, Damn you! Nice. Damn you! For Leonard? Wanna adopt a baby? Well, guess I'll just have to shred him instead. Blood's on your hands. Baby's here! Get your babies here! I promised I wouldn't cry. <laughs> <laughs> 